Alright, let welcome back everybody. I am just kinda chilling in a dungeon. There's no really pressing lines of inquiry motivating me, nothing substantial that needs to be done. I'm just kinda doing the thing where I kill things, take their loot, and level up. You may have heard of it, it's called an RPG. So you know, I got a couple things I'm waiting on feelings on, but of course, as you can see I'm pretty well into ninth level and then the level after that is ten and after that is eleven in case you were wondering how numbers work that is that is the order I have confirmed that and at level eleven I get the identify spell which is just beautiful it's definitely one of the parts where uh, you know mage tops a tops a warrior because like warriors will learn you know all it can do I've got a good feeling about this I'm a Jedi but you can't top identify for just without having to experiment on yourself or wield it. Just, hey, tell me everything this does. Um, especially because on lower levels, uh, you can start getting some really dangerous uh, potions and scrolls that, like, if you read them to test them, you are in dire straits. What the hell is this level about? Where are, like, the rest of it? Because I've been detecting. That's the thing, is if I was a warrior here, I'd start, like, detecting for secret doors. Where are they? But as a mage... I know where the secret doors are. I cast a spell. And so I can kind of just kind of start consulting my map and saying, where are the unexplored little fragments? Oh. And, you know, it's, uh, I'm kind of hoping to find ego items here or something, because it's honestly getting a little bit hard to do commentary for this middle segment here, where before, before any of the, uh, the big threats, the, you know, the uniques that matter and stuff happen and all that sort of thing were before that but you know kind of I've taught you guys you know you know and you've actually if you've been following the whole video series you know a lot about Angman I mean just think of that you know all of these basic little truisms and such and you know for example that lice can blow me no that is not where I want to be MBF. Oh my god. I am not going to die at these lice. Cure serious wounds. I probably won't need it if I teleport out, but you do not take chances in Angband. Okay. Didn't die from the lice. Where are the lice, though? As you can see there, that was a situation where had I freaked out at those lice and just went, ah! I might be dead. I would also be a helicopter, apparently, but that's neither here nor there. But that time, I didn't even need the potion, but it was like, be conservative, you know, use the potion before, in case the spell fails twice in a row. And, uh, and I didn't die. And so that's definitely kind of just, uh, and I guess it kind of serves me right for saying I had nothing left to, to teach you guys that that was when that happened. Where it was just, uh, you know, the situations that, you know, could be dangerous, but if you keep keep your head about you... You're, uh, gonna do just fine. Um, I still have nothing to recharge. I'm almost to level 10, though, and there's a Firebolt spell, but I'm honestly not gonna share from... Because, I mean, even now, Frostbolt's still at failure 24%. I'm not relying on Frostbolt, and you may think, oh, Firebolt does even more damage, but... Oh, he just drained my Wisdom and Dexterity. Well, something else drained my Dexterity. Stop draining my Wisdom. What are you... I am not at all wise now. I'm naive. Um, what was I talking about? Whatever, it was something really important, and you should probably take it to heart. Oh, that's right, I was talking about why I'm not taking Firebolt with this level up. Um, and that's because uh, Frostbolt already kind of fills that niche, and I mean, sure, there's going to be things that are weak to the element fire, but that's not going to be too big an issue at these levels. So I might go back and pick up Firebolt some other time, when, uh, you know, the, when I got a dull level to do it, but not now. And now, this time when I say I've got tone, turnstone to mud, I'm right. I'm gonna do that, do that little tunnel, and I'm, you can see the little countdown, I'm only 174 experience from Identify, which is definitely exciting. You can see I've got, like, what, seven unidentified things in my inventory right now, and so when I can start identifying them, that's when I'm really a happy Hito. 
Do I go down? No, level 7. As you can see, at level 7, you know, I, I'm kind of, just by playing this a bit slow and smart, I'm doing just fine, but, uh, once uniques start showing up, I really can't take a, a D-level D 8 unique at this time. This is one turn stored in the mud is awesome. I get some scrolls, and I get to finally use tunnels. And that door burst open back there. It's a Naga. I'll risk the Frostbolt. And there we go. Had that Frostbolt missed, as you saw, I had 7 SP. That would definitely be an example of the situation. Oh, fuck. I went back towards the lights by accident. That would definitely be a situation where, uh, you would, um, want to use only Magic Missile and not another Frost. Bolt! Fuck you, lice. Phase door, just to get across the room. Oh, God. Lice really pissed me the hell off. The fun is warriors. Um, I had a half troll who killed over a thousand fruit flies. Over a thousand five hundred fruit flies, actually. And, uh, which are kind of like grown up lice. And so that was fun. But, uh, oh shit. Orcs are kind of a problem. Okay, there's only four of them. Oh! Just kidding. There's a ton of them, and I'm going to avoid them. I can take just these guys, but uh, anything more, and I'm... Oh, it's Snagas, I'm sorry. Snagas are orcs. They're just a, like an orc derivative. Orc is a type of monster. And now that I've made sure that their buddies are going to be well in a way, I'll uh, throw down a couple lightning bolts and switch to pelting with magic missiles. Yeah, see, now you're starting to see kind of the monsters that are appropriate to D-level 7 that I wouldn't find before here, and this is an accurate example of why I'm not on D-level 8. Oh, wait, this is... Was this that tunnel I saw before full of snagas? Can I... Lightning Bolt? As long as I can, uh... Yeah, see, there's a monster that can work a door now. But as long as I can kite these guys, um, definitely good experience, but, uh, getting a bit low on SP for my tastes. In fact, I'm going to kill this guy with my dagger, and I get, so I get two magic missiles against this other one, and fuck, he brought a friend. Been stunned. <sighs> Shit, that was the wrong direction. Uh, I got to push one more pot of cure, but actually this is going to be a time to uh, zing away. I'll also get a speed buff with this ring, um, so I can just dodge them a little better. But that still might not be enough. This is a delicate situation here, because uh, they did bring a lot of their friends. <sighs> off a potion of cure serious. I think this is going to be another death video. I'm going to quaff this metallic green. Oh, berserk strength. What a time. Sadly, I can't cast spells with berserk strength. Um, yeah, this is going to be a law dies video. Uh, there you have it, folks. Don't get cocky dealing with snagas. Is that... Is that... And uh, I think I'm going to do something a bit different for... For the next video, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to how I'm going to do it, but I uh, I don't think I'm going to take another first level and uh, keep the camera on him the whole time like I have been doing. Um, maybe I'll jump into a different leveled character. Maybe I'll just do a kind of do the first few level ups, just kind of show them in a training montage. I've been playing with that idea. I'll take user input on how you, how you want to see it done next, but uh, you know I'm thinking that you guys. You guys know everything about killing centipedes. You you know how it works to do basic detects, and um, I just need to start showing you more situations when you've got things like those snogas and how you can not get murdered by them. So leave your comments on what you want to see, and we'll do this again sometime.